Okay, we're back. Um, found these people to talk to. They're just randomly here now. Man, I'm freaking exhausted. Is it just me? Oh, I, I bet they only appear after you've talked to um, Michio. Is it just me? It was Bass, Brass Band Club the last one to finish practice today. Well, we've got no choice. The concert's almost here. Are you from the Brass Band Club? I'm a new teacher. The headmaster asked me to look into Hamako Akai. Can you tell me more about her? Why are you asking us about Akai now? Did they relaunch an investigation into her suicide? No harm in letting them fill in the blanks incorrectly. It's not like telling them the truth would help them anyway. Akai was quiet, but she was gentle and kind. She had, and, and she loved playing the piano. Whenever we sing the school song, we always have a student representative play the piano. Hello. <laughs> oh, he's perfect. He's a perfect boy. Look at him. Look at him. Kind of angry. Oh, nice, sweetie. Okay. Um, whenever we sing the school song, we always have to have a student representative play the piano. That used to be her job. She was overjoyed when she got the news. Until um, Toshihiko Izumi replaced her. I don't know what that says, right? Ah, uh, yeah. It was written on the poster I found last night. Right. I think it happened just before she died. What? Does that mean she killed herself over that? No way. That's a pretty solid job of gathering information so far. Hi. We managed to get some very useful info from Doryo Kinukawa and the Brass Band Club members. Where should we go next? Say, hey, Mr. Yashiki. This may sound random, but how about we check out the school lockers on the first floor? Why? Because school's over. Bet there's quite a few students who are about to head home now. So there should be some people there. He's right. Here, you can see his ear. No, you can't anymore. Hapuki? Makes sense. Let's go to the shoe lockers. Sure. My OBS is here, so I'm like looking over this side to see because he's standing right in front of it. Hapuki, are you okay? Alright. This is the shoe lockers, right? Do I have to press the exit? This is the main entrance, shoe lockers. Okay. Over there. Two students are chatting quietly. That Hanako. Mr. Yasuki. Did you hear? They said Hanako. They may be talking about Akai. Now, like, uh, should we go ask them? Hold on a sec, I. Let's lay low for a bit. They may stop talking if they notice us. Need help getting down? Oh, he's so cute. Oh, he's stepping on my keyboard. Kitten. Okay. You make a good point. Should we eavesdrop then? They're too occupied by their conversation to notice us. We may be able to eavesdrop on their chat if we do this right. Yeah. I need to get closer to the students if I want to listen to their conversation. I should do it because she's looks like a student. Uh, female students.
Choose a character with high execution rate. Note that in some situations, you can't succeed if you choose the wrong character, even if they are able to perform the action. Okay. I don't think she should talk to them, because that's sus. And I don't think she should read their lips, because that's also sus. So, approach naturally. Got it. I'll try to casually approach those girls. Come on. Okay, good. Oh, hello again, kitten. These are my feet. Great! I manages to casually approach them. It's time for the students to leave school. Maybe they'll be more amicable. Looks like this is the right choice. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh. Act two. I is keeping an ear open to overhear the girls' conversation. Uh, how can I get I to move over the shoe lockers in a nonchalant way? Shoe lockers. Um, look around the shoe lockers. Um, whistle. I think pretending to wait for a friend is more natural than just looking around the shoe lockers. That's kind of, like looking around the shoe lockers would have get more attention than just waiting for a friend. If they ask, you'd be like, "Oh, I'm waiting for my friend." I nods after seeing my sign. How did he sign though? Doesn't mean it's right though, right? Moi's well, late again, huh? Guess I have to wait here for a while. The girls don't seem to be wary of I's act. Maybe now we can listen to their conversation without worrying. Looks like this is the right choice. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is it backwards? Oh no, my cat wants to go out. Okay. The students finish chatting and leave the area. Mission success! I totally eavesdrops on them. I immediately reports what she heard. The students were talking about Hanako Akai's best friend. That friend being Naomi Horikoshi. Horikoshi seems to be crazy popular. Both her grades and athleticism are top notch. She used to be bright and cheerful. Though she isn't bright and cheerful now. Uh uh. She's not doing so well after Akai's suicide. The two students talking now were worried about her. They tried to talk to her, but she got mad. I think they were talking about that. Can't blame her. Her best friend died. Did you get anything else? Hmm, let's see. Horikoshi uh, Horikoshi's working as a magazine model. She's hiding it from the school. Model? Could it be? Mr. Yashiki? I looks confused. I guess she'd completely forgotten. I was referring to this. <laughs> I take out the departed's notice from my bag. Dear model, Hanako will kill you tonight. I'm watching, hiding in the school. Your beloved departed. Oh my god, you're right! That means Hanako's target is... The possibility is high. We have to find Naomi Horikoshi. Agreed. Her class is 2B. Let's go there right away. 2B, so upstairs. Okay. Alright, uh, give me a second to let my cat out. It took way longer than I expected because I got up to let my cat out. Where, where are we going? The infirmary? Where are we going? Oh, 2B. Okay. Um, Yeah, I got up to let my cat out. Um, But when I went close to him, he moved over to where I get my treat, the, his treats out from. So I had to give him some treats and then he just sat down on the pillow and didn't move so i might have to get up again but it's 2b right if we if it does it go a yeah a and then the next one is b is this her tired looking girl okay <clears throat> uh do you know naomi horo uh, horikoshi Nani yo? The hell? I'm Horikoshi. Who are you, old man? I quickly introduce myself to Horikoshi. Oh, really? You're a teacher. What do you want with me? Make it quick. Her voice is just radiating with annoyance. Maybe she hates talking to people. Just skip the small talk and get to the point already. Hurry up. Oh, come on, not this stupid rumor. So you know about the departed's notice. 
We received a new notice today. Hanako's next target is a model. What? And I've heard you're doing modeling work. A what? Are you warning me to be careful so I don't get killed by the ghost of Hanako? To think a grown-ass adult believes in ghosts. What a fool. You're really asking me about Hanako. You're the worst. So insensitive. I know it's insensitive, but I need your cooperation for this investigation, please. I don't know a thing. Remembering Hanako only hurts me. Why don't you try being more considerate of your students' feelings? Sorry. I don't know anything. Just leave me alone. Okay. Can we be done with this already? I've got an errand to run. Excuse me. Stop her. Wait, you're in danger. Oh, you're so persistent. Horikoshi. Didn't you hear me? You're a persistent bastard. You're just a new teacher, and your beard looks gross, by the way. Move. Get out of the way. I tried. And I got insulted for it. Horikoshi leaves the classroom. The character, Naomi Horikoshi, has been added to the character file. Uh, okay, what are we doing now? Yes, Key, what should we do? Mr. Yashiki, Mr. Yashiki. Mr. Diamond is waiting for you in the infirmary. Oh, Mr. Diamond's here now. I really want to get information from Hori Koshi, but maybe we should return to the infirmary for now. Oh, we can't really get any information from her because she's, um... She's left. Uh oh, we're on the second floor. <laughs> okay. No, go, go. Let me just go to the infirmary. When we arrive at the infirmary, a skinny man in a white coat is waiting inside. Hmm. I'm sorry you're not familiar to me. Welcome back, Yashiki. I should go through- I should kind of go through my videos. Uh, Mr. Konoe told me you've become a temporary teacher here. You're finally here, Diamond. Mm-hmm, just got back now. Hello, Kashiwagi. That uniform suits you. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you. Alright, let's get down to work. How about we exchange information first? His name is Shuji Diamond. One of the mark bearers. He's a doctor who runs a clinic in H-City and he's the school doctor at uh, Konoe Hara Academy. How you been, Diamond? I was feeling better for a while, but it's getting worse again lately. Some nights I'm coughing so badly I can't even get back to sleep. You should get a checkup. I'm considering it, actually. My clinic's understaffed, you see. I can't afford to take a day off. I can't even practice what I've told my patients. How ironic. Uh, discuss the investigation request? Anyway, sorry for asking you to investigate this case so suddenly. When I told Mr. Konoe about the spirit doctor, he insisted that I introduce him to you. Don't call me that. That magazine just gave me that nickname without consulting me. Spirit doctor. The editor-in-chief of a certain occult magazine labelled me with that nickname without permission. According to that OOP Arts article, Spirit doctor Kazuo Yashiki is an expert in spirit investigation. I'm not that great at this. If I were, then nobody would have died yesterday. I get why you're frustrated, but don't get down on yourself. You truly do have the skills. If you didn't, I wouldn't have introduced you to Mr. Conway. Why did you tell I about this investigation? That's my fault. Apologies for that. I just blurted it out when Kashiwagi mentioned the departed. I'm not the only one who knows about it, though. Sho and Moe know, too. They told me they're going to help you out. Both Sho and Moe are also mark bearers I am acquainted with. Looks like the group's been keeping in touch without me knowing. Or did you think they all just only kept in contact with you? Egotistical dude. Goodness. I share all the information I've gathered so far with Diamond. Hmm. Naomi Horikoshi may be our, our key to discovering Hanako's grudge. 
I think so too. They used to be good friends. And Horikoshi may be the model mentioned in the notice. I want to protect her. Also, regarding Akai's suicide, maybe you should try asking Miss Sakamoto. Does she have anything to do with the case? Actually, the teachers here were running an investigation after that incident. Miss Sakamoto was the person in charge. I see, then she should have some relevant information about the bullying too. Let me join the investigation. We're going to stand out pretty badly if the three of us walk around the school together. Mr. Conaway won't like that. Then either me or Mr. Damon should stay behind. Please decide which one of us you're going to bring with you. I'll keep I for now. Uh, when several people are willing to accompany you, you can change your party member by using the change option at the infirmary. By changing your accompanying party member, you may also be able to inspect an investigation point you couldn't examine without them. Oh, the character Shuji Diamond has been added to the character file. Okay. Um, saving time. Um, faculty room? When I enter the faculty room, I ask the teacher nearby, uh, if the teacher nearby can call Sakamoto. Oh, hello. Hello, are you Mr. Yashiki? Mr. Konoe told me about you. The name is Ritsu Sakamoto. I'm the curriculum coordinator at this school. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'd like to cut to the chase. Before that, I have something important to tell you. Konoe Hara Academy is a prestigious high school with 70 years of history. I'm sure you already know that, don't you? Yeah. Our teachers are responsible for guiding the next generation while preserving that history. And thus, as a teacher here, you will have to understand our regulations. Sakamoto begins to scold me. If I listen to her entire spiel, the sun will set. What should I do? Uh, maybe I will help me here. I nods when I give her the signal. Whoa, Miss Sakamoto, you have a rabbit wristwatch and necklace. They're so cute and fancy. Y you think so? You've got a good eye. I saw them at the shop near H Station. Sakamoto brightens up and begins chatting happily like a pa parent bragging about their child. Miss Sakamoto. Oops, my apologies. I ended up rambling about myself. Where were we again? You gave me a full rundown of the responsibility of the teachers at this hallowed institution. I was just about to ask you about the case. Would you mind cooperating with us? Sure. I wonder if there was another way to get around that as well. Not sure, though. Sakamoto's finally willing to listen. Mr. Konoe said you're looking into the departed's notices. That is correct, but I'm focusing on Hanako of the toilet at the moment. What's the difference? They're both ridiculous rumors. I don't think I even have any information I can share with you on that matter anyway. With the commotion surrounding the notices and the missing kids, many students have been feeling anxious. If we don't show them we're doing something about it, these rumors may reach outsiders' ears. Which must sully the school's reputation. So you want me to solve this discreetly? Precisely. Well then, I expect that you'll retain your priority on discretion while you are performing your investigation. Every school has its own seven mysteries and ghost stories. While that in and of itself is not something to be upset about, I find it incredibly rude that a student who has recently passed is now a subject of such stories. Akai was a rather quiet and conspicuous student, but when she played the piano, she was dazzling. She even wanted to pursue a career in the music industry one day. What a pity. I heard you looked into Hanako Akai's suicide. I'd like to know more about that. What made her kill herself? Relationship troubles. That's what it said in the reports. That's rather vague. Please tell me the truth. Was it because of bullying? Don't make me repeat myself. It was because of relationship troubles. Miss Sakamoto. However, if I were to personally speculate what her real problem was, it would be bullying. As a proud member of the school's staff, Sakamoto doesn't want the bullying angle to go public. Praising it as she did could be seen as concession. Maybe now she'll start to open up a bit. Akai hanged herself in the female restroom on the old building's third floor. Third floor, not the first. Yes, the third floor. 
Last night, I encountered Hanako in the first floor restroom. I'd assumed that was where she committed suicide. When we found her body, she was wearing a red skirt with suspenders like the ones grade schoolers wear. Like the original Hanako of the toilet. How could that be? I doubt she chose to wear that outfit herself. That's all I can say. In other words, someone forced her to put on Hanako of the toilet's outfit. Doesn't that also mean she wasn't- she didn't, like, do that to herself? Sakamoto had gently nudged me towards what she considered to be proof of the bullying. Now me. I learned some strange things related to her after Akai's suicide. So you see, I reached out to some students about the case. Horikoshi was basically Akai's best friend. She knew Akai was getting bullied. But she turned a blind eye to it. She didn't stop the bullies. Hmm. Also, I heard. No idea if it's true or not. I mean, it seems to be true. I leave the faculty room after talking with Sakamoto. Um, we learned a lot of things from Miss Sakamoto. They were all unpleasant, though. Indeed. However, all that information must be related to the spirit's grudge. No matter how much we hate hearing those stories, we have no choice but to keep digging. Okie dokie, I'll do my best. Now that I think about it, we have collected a lot of information since we talked to Doryo and Kinukawa. Ah, okay. Maybe I should try speaking to them again. I bet they're still here at the school. Let's look around for them. So, student... Council room. Hinukawa is hanging out in the student council room. It seems like she's not busy. Oh, hello, four-eyed geezer. I mean, Mr. Yashiki. I heard from Hime you're a teacher here now. There's something I'd like to ask you, Kinukawa. Nope, my lips are zipped. I'm not going to give any more information to my rival. But maybe I'll reconsider if you show me your sincerity. What does that, what does that even mean? Kinukawa looks at me, eyes full of expectation. I can't ask Ai for help when she's specifically pointing to me. Okay, what should I do? Uh, sincerity. Ugh. Uh, give money is not sincerity. Kneel down before her, not doing that. I don't think I should leave. That's not sincerity. Compliment her looks. Um. I like... Hmm. Why would you compliment her outfit? It's just a school uniform, so it's either her accessories or her hair colour. I like her hair colour. I'm a sucker for white hair, grey hair, whatever you want to call it, and red eyes. She doesn't have red eyes, but... As the old saying goes, a woman's hair is her soul. Well, that's true. I'll try complimenting her distinctive hair colour. Um, you've got a beautiful hair colour. It suits you perfectly. For real, these? Kinukawa runs her fingers through her hair, looking really surprised. Oh no, did I fuck up? I see. So that's how my hair looks to you. She has a satisfied smile on her face. What the fuck does that mean? She must be really proud of her hair colour to feel that pleased by my compliment. A little too pleased, if I'm being honest. Yee, yeah, thank you. I can see your sincerity. Okay. Well, whatever the case, it works. She's willing to listen. So, what do you want to ask? Kinukawa stares intently at me. Okay. Um, you're making me nervous. Tall and slender figure with an intellectual and calm face. You look like an annex parenthenope somehow. The fuck is that? Oh, that's a dragonfly, right? Is that supposed to be a compliment? Oh, it's the highest form of compliment. Okay, you're like a high schooler. Get away from me. Because I like bugs. Now that she mentions it, all of her accessories resemble bugs. This girl's got some interesting hobbies. Hanako of the toilet is a spirit that appears in the girl's restroom in the old building. Except for Hime, everyone already knows the rumor surrounding Hanako. Okay, we've already done this one. Uh, Naomi. Horikoshi is popular. It only caused Akai to be judged even more harshly. What do you mean? I feel bad for saying this, but Akai was sane. Now, imagine how Horikoshi's fans might react to that. I guess some of them thought she wasn't good enough to be hanging out with her. Even though they got along. Well, that's true. Horikoshi had always protected Akai. She's not the type to give in to pressure. But things changed between them at some point. 
You mean before she committed suicide? Mm hmm. Rumors said they had a falling out. Horikoshi seemed to be avoiding Akai. Did I cho choose this one? Seemed like Akai was bullied pretty badly. You remember those scribbles you saw in the restroom? They're based on her actual bullying. Her bullies wrote insulting things about her on the wall of the old building's restroom. Any, do you have anything else to say about her? Okay, no. That's it. By the way, Mr. Yashiki, there's something I've been curious about. The girl behind you looks like Ai Kashiwagi from Love He, doesn't she? Oh, I'm the real Ai Kashiwagi, actually. You're kidding! Whoa, it's my first time seeing a celebrity. What's your relationship with Ai, Mr. Yashiki? Oh, she's a friend. I'm honored to know that you really trust me, Mr. Yashiki. I'll live up to your expectations, hee <laughs> hee. I can tell how close you are. But to think you'd ask an actual idol to help you out with your investigation. How fearless. Her fans will hate you. Mr. Yashiki didn't do anything. I forced him to let me help him out. Wow, you're so popular. But I was also moved by your sincerity. Excuse me. Kinukawa looks at me and smirks. The conversation started to go in a strange direction. Time to put an end to this. Goodbye. I leave the student council room after talking with Kinukawa. Alright, where should I go? Um... Hmm. Where do we have to go? Like, there's... We've talked to... We've talked to her. But where is, um... You know what? Let's go to the infirmary see what he says. Because I've forgotten. <laughs> I want to collect more information about Hanako. Before nightfall, I want to speak with... An Horikoshi first. Okay, I'll take him with me. So and see um, what he has to say. Can we go to the student council room? Not the student council room, I didn't mean to go here. Goodbye. Didn't mean to come here, sorry. I meant to go to the faculty room, I think. Since he says he wants to talk to her, There's no one here, okay. Mm. He wants to speak to Naomi. But I don't know where she is. Wait, dude, talk to me. I want to talk to Horikoshi, but I don't know where she is. Maybe one of the students might have seen her. Okay. How long you can keep me waiting? Okay. Maybe she's in the music room. I'm gonna- I'm gonna find her. I'm not gonna make you walk around with me. Okay, I switched back to I. Um... Oh. Let's, uh, talk to- I found- I found her. She's near the music room. Um... For some reason I didn't go over here. Um, hello, Mr. Yashiki. How's the investigation going? I hope I don't need... Um... Diamond. I saw Horikoshi entering the music room just now. I wonder what business she has there. She's not in the brass band club. I used to be in the same class with her and Horikoshi during our first year. They got along well back then. During lunch break, Horikoshi would always go to the music room to hear Akai play piano. Do you know, did I already ask you about this? If she killed herself because of bullying, I basically murdered her too, indirectly. What I did was unforgivable. What do you mean? Oh, because you, because you didn't help her. You didn't know. Okay. So... Because she's in here. There's no one in the music room. Is she in the storage room? That's weird. The audio said Horikoshi was in here. That's odd. Why don't we investigate this place for a sec?
There's a black grand piano. I'm good at piano. I played it during one of my shows before. Everyone was thrilled. This is the musical equipment storage room. Horikoshi is desperately rummaging through the cabinet. She seems to be frantically searching for something. Whoa. Aren't you... Did you follow me here? You're basically creepy stalkers. Aren't you depraved? Horikoshi, there's something. Shut up. I've got nothing to tell you. Uh-oh. Okay, okay, okay. I don't think... I don't think I can say anything. Horikoshi's hostility towards us is obvious. We need to do something to clear the misunderstanding. Choosing your companion during... or both. There will be times when the protagonist is the only one who can execute an action and there isn't any suspensive act that requires you to be accompanied by a specific character. Wait, there isn't any suspensive act that requires you to be accompanied by a... Wait, so you can always... like they have a situation for every character? I'm so confused. However, the character's strengths and weaknesses may affect the execution rate for each action, which may make this sus Okay, okay, okay. The execution rate of the characters waiting in the infirmary can be seen through the character selection area. It's better to check which character has the better execution rate before deciding who should accompany you. What? How do I see that? Whoa, his dexterity is fucking crazy. Unintelligence. Anyway, I don't say again. Diamond, team up with Diamond, stand by. No, I, I don't think that either of these old men are going to be able to do anything. So we're going to make I do it. Go handkerchief, ask if she lost anything. Um, This is a lower chant, but... Maybe if I show her it, it might trigger something bad, though. Because it looks like she's lost something. She's searching for something. Maybe it's this. But I don't want to show her it yet. I'm scared. Can you handle this, I? Sure. Doesn't mean it was right, though. Doesn't mean it was right. Horikashi, did you happen to lose something recently? Like what? I'm not sure if this is yours, but I was handed a lost handkerchief. Okay, so we are showing it. Oh, we are showing it to her. What? What kind of handkerchief? She seems to be showing interest. Maybe now that she's a bit calmer, we can finally talk. Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. What was the... Oh my god, 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 oh my god. What was the uh, handkerchief embroidered with? We can check, we can check. Oh shit. Oh, we can check. Where is it? Dirty handkerchief. NH. The initials NH. Now me. Yeah, okay. This is hers. Oh my god. Okay, 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 okay. Is that handkerchief really mine? Yes, it has your initials on it. But because she seems to be suspicious of us, what should we tell her? I continue the conversation. Um, it was embroidered with NH. Because, yeah, those could be anyone's it's handkerchief. Uh, can I leave this to you, I? Sure. Imagine if it failed on a 2% failure. Hey, Horikoshi, the lost handkerchief is embroidered. If I'm not mistaken, it has the initials NH. Huh? That's my handkerchief. So that handkerchief really is Horikoshi's? Yes, I've been searching all over the place for it. Why do you have it, though? Do you mind telling me about it first? I have a few things to ask. If it won't take long, then fine. Horikoshi has finally regained her composure. Looks like this is the right choice. Oh my god. So fucking... Like, nerve-wracking. So, what do you want to ask me, Mr. Yashiki? Horikoshi's still wary of us. We need to tread carefully so we don't piss her off. Um, what are you doing here? 
You seem to be looking for something. I don't think she's going to answer at all. Me. The name's Naomi Horikoshi, student number 24 in class 2B. Favorite subject, English. Needs to improve. History. My hobbies. Shopping and karaoke. What else? My birthday? Blood type? Three sizes? <laughs> you look so dumb. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I'm so sorry. Do you want to know who bullied Hanako? I'll tell you. It was that bastard Izumi and his female lackey. Hanako's fellow brass band club members. Moshihiko Izumi. Yeah, him. He didn't show up today, though. Oh no, I need to sneeze. Why did he bully her? It all started when the school held an audition to pick a representative to play the school's song at the recital. Hanako and Izumi were both candidates for it, but she was the one chosen in the end. She was the obvious choice. She loved piano so much and she spent every day practicing. But Izumi's fragile ego couldn't accept that. So he bullied Hanako because he was upset that she won the competition. You got it. They bullied her in the girls' restroom in the old building so the teachers wouldn't find out. They were insulting things about her and forced her to drink milk. Hanako couldn't take it anymore, so she gave up the position. That's cruel. It was, and it was only the beginning. He continued bullying her even after she gave up her position. His ego must have been so trashed because she was better than him. And in the end, Hanako committed suicide. At least it seems like they've been punished for their actions. Come again? Didn't his underling go missing? If I'm not mistaken, rumor said she was killed by Hanako, right? Are you talking about Ribbon? Yeah, that thing from the Departed's Notice. If I remember correctly, that little bitch always wore flashy red ribbons. I see. Ribbon was the first victim, followed by a pianist. Seems like a pretty solid correlation. Both of them had something to do with Hanako's bullying. The next target is Model, aka the one in front of me, Naomi Horikoshi. She's Hanako's best friend, though. Did she bully her, too? But... Her anger toward Izumi doesn't seem like an act. I doubt she was one of Hanako's bullies. Why was Hanako targeting her, then? Hmm... I know about the rumors. Hanako will come if you scribble something on the old building's restroom wall, right? It's a bunch of crap. Nothing showed up. So you gave it a try. Horikoshi covers her mouth, realizing she just let something slip. I was desperate. I really wanted to see Hanako, even if it was her ghost. Why would you take a risk like that? Because there's something I want to tell her. If I were able to do that, I wouldn't mind being killed by her. Don't be foolish. <laughs> Guess I sound like a fool to you. By the way, I immediately erased what I wrote with a handkerchief. But there was still stuff written on the wall. You mean the whole, you suck at piano, right? I know that. But I didn't write that. Someone else did. I wanted to erase it, but the ink was already dry. I could only erase the Hanako part. That explains why I could barely read the name on the wall. Maybe the smudges on the graffiti in the new building were also Horikoshi's doing. Anyway, can you give it back to me? Oh, sure. I met Hanako during our first year. She was quiet and adorable. She was very girly, unlike me. How did you two become close? It wasn't something special. She really hated milk, you see. Some dumbasses knew about it and tried forcing her to drink it for fun. So I drank it in her stead. Hanako was really grateful, and ever since then we started hanging out a lot. How nice of you. Ew, I don't need your compliment. That's everything, right? Oops. Okay. Let's stop here. Can I go now? No, I haven't finished yet. I'm sure you remember what I told you earlier. Hanako's next target is model. More directly, you. So what? I want to protect you. Nope, I'm good. Don't you understand? Your life's at risk. What? Don't make me repeat myself. I don't need your protection. Just thinking about an old man protecting me is making me feel squicky. I'm leaving. Move. Whoa! Horikoshi shoves Ai aside and rushes out of the storage room. Are you alright, Ai? Yes. I hit my back hard, but there's no injuries or anything. Thank goodness. It might be too late to chase her down. Why would Horikoshi do that? A 
new notice from the departed has arrived. While the murderer named is the same, the target this time is model. According to the rumors, Hanako will appear if you write her name on the wall of the toilet stall, then she'll kill you. It is imperative to learn who model is before they meet the same fate as Izumi. We learned from students that the model is a sophomore named Horikoshi. It turns out that she was she and Hanako were apparently best friends. When we spoke with Horikoshi, we learned that Izumi had been bullying Hanako in the girls' restroom in the old building before she committed suicide. Hanako was severely bullied by Izumi, and in the end, it led to her suicide. But Izumi's death should have given her the revenge she desired, so why is Horikoshi now her target? Looks like there's still a secret between Horikoshi and Hanako that we need to uncover. Okay. I'll see you in the next one.